the other day we talked to Stephen Simmons as he gets ready to finally fight Matty Askins for the British title. Stephen, how's it going, mate? I am good, yourself? Aye, good, man, good. Uh, for a wee while now, this fight's been kind of like just dragging on with call-offs and that. Uh, is it finally a relief to get it? Aye, it's, it's good that, like, obviously coming through that last fight and won the IBF European title, uh, we are, we are, like, three weeks notice or something like this. Uh, so it was good to get a... Still got a title shot in there and uh, fight a good opponent in Simon Barkley. Uh, and that's obviously made me mandatory for the British. So mm. because I've been made mandatory, I think it's, it has to, uh, that's it. it's got to happen now. Uh, David Hay won the post bid, so. Yeah. Um, how does it. Obviously, now it's happening in London. Um, do you, how do you feel about it? You were kind of ready to win it in Edinburgh. No, it's happening in London. Does that do you pay any mind to that? Go. Nah, uh, he's not for London. Uh, I'm not for London. Um, he's English, so. But to be fair, it's a prestigious venue uh, and one that I'm happy to fight in. Uh, I don't care where the ring is. It could be in his back garden for all I care. As long as the ring, as uh, long as the title on the line, and as long as there's good money on the line, so all for all. Is that everybody's a winner? Exactly. <laughs> um, we've got um, Luke Watkins, the Commonwealth champion. Uh, he's already called out the winner. Uh, would that be something you're interested in for later on in the year? He's slaver rubbish. There's no money in that fight. There is no money whatsoever in that fight. Uh, so, I'll win this fight. I'll make history, becoming the first uh, Scotsman to win the British Cruiser title. And then I'm looking to move on. I want to fight for a world title. I'm, this is my last year in this game, and then I'm finished. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look to move on to the coaching scene uh, in, a, in a year or so. Uh, but this is my final year. Um, my, I'm lucky enough to get a, a good uh, job off my wife's dad, uh, delivering bathrooms. So, I'm working for Europa Bathrooms, delivering for Victor Paris, Bayerite Bathrooms, and Edinburgh Bathroom Company. So, so, so everything's kind of. Sorted? Uh, nah, um, I'm lucky enough to, to land a, a good job. Uh, so, uh, that's my final year of. So, uh, so I was, was going to move on to that next, as I'd read it in the newspaper that uh, you were thinking about retiring. You know, you're dead set that you're retiring at reti uh, um, the end of this year. This is, this is the final year for me. Um, I've had a good crack in the whip, I've had a great amateur career, I've had a good pro career. Um, and I'm happy that what, I, what I've achieved in my life from uh, growing up in the, the streets in Calder's uh, site of Western Hills area, um, getting thrown out of primary school like multiple times, I think it was five times I was getting thrown out for fighting. So boxing changed, changed all dynamics for me. Uh, I dedicated myself to the sport under uh, my Uncle Kenny and from from then on, I was with Leaf Victoria for 14 years. I had um, 115 fights, 80 of which were for uh, Scotland, representing my country all over the world, representing Great Britain. Um, and I was I was on Scotland and the, the Great Britain team for a number of years. So I've had a great I've had a great crack at work, and again, again it changed changed all dyma dynamics of life for me. And now I just want to. Live a, a proper family life now. That's what, wife, gonna, my baby. that's what I was going to say. Was uh, maybe with the, the kid coming along there uh, last year? Was it uh, was that something that just made you look at things a wee bit different? Yeah, definitely. Like I'm, I'm out of the house early in the morning to to train. Uh, so he's still sleeping when I'm leaving the house. I, I go training. I go to work. I leave work. I come here. By the time I get home, he's probably sleeping. By any luck, he'll still be awake. Um, but. I, I don't want to be doing that. I want to. I want to be able to watch him grow up, mm. uh, spend as much time with him as I can in life. You, know, you never know when you're like your time is up. So. And that's that. Especially, especially in this, you can just someone can just go wrong one day. And and for me, I'm I'm settled and I'm happy with what I've done in boxing. Mm -hmm. So, so the, the the goal for you is for this year is to get this British title and mm. chase doing chase doing uh, chase doing a world, world title. Day. As, and then after that, as, yeah. you're quite happy to walk away. Aye, happy. So as I say, it's a business as well. If, if money, if money comes on board, then there is proper money for after winning this fight. If there's proper money to fight, what counts? Then 
the OB, but if there's no money, it's, it's, a, it's a no go. I'll just sit, sit and wait and see if I can get a little title shot. And you already says it's like you've already kind of, you know that you're going to move into the coaching side there. Um, is, do you know that at what level you're going to maybe take like kids or? Are you? Yes, so in 2019, Lee Victoria, uh, the oldest boxing gym in Scotland, has got so much history behind it. Uh, in 2019, when it's 100 years old, it's going to get handed to me to take over and run the gym. Uh, so I've got I've got that to look up to, but if not, then I'll 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 go into an amateur gym. But Lee Victoria, um, they're looking for somebody like myself to take over and take over the reins. They couldn't think of anybody that's put as much into the gym over the years and the amateurs to take over. So they want me to try and guide the gym in the right way. Doesn't mean I'll be there full time coaching all the time. Because my uncle's still there coaching, to be fair, all, after all them years he's still there. And uh, I just go along and help and try and change certain things in that in the direction that I feel that my experience in, in the boxing industry can can go and see where, see where that takes us. But again, I'm still going to watch my boy grow up. I'm not going to step out of professional boxing and step right in with, with open arms and take on like everything in amateur gym, it's, it's not going to work like that. I'm still spending time with my boy. Yeah, uh, kind of just as when you're talking there, it doesn't sound as if it's like uh, retired. When you hear when somebody's retiring, you kind of think that's the end, end, end of the story. It just yeah. feels as if it's the end of a chapter for you. It's kind of, you've kind of got a plan to what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. Well, and I feel like I can, I've got a lot of experience behind me, amateur, at the highest level amateur. No, just an amateur coach has been about the the, the boxing scene in, in and around the club shows. I've been in the World Championship, I've been in two World Championships, two Commonwealth Games, three Europeans, I've travelled everywhere, trained with the best coaches in GB and Scotland. Uh, so I've got a lot of experience and I've trained with great, great uh, professional boxing coaches. So a lot of experience and I just find that I can maybe put a bit dynamic into the the boxing scene. Yeah, but I always remember talking to Billy a few months back and uh, he says that he's like you would make a brilliant coach, he's like you, you know boxing inside out. I've got a good brain and and I've, I've, I've helped coach like a few, like, I've helped put a few pointers and I've, I've done a bit of training with some young kids and helped bring them on so we'll, we'll, we'll see what the future holds but, but for now I've got the British title in seven weeks so that's my, my, my whole focus is on that and uh, See, see, see what things go for there. No problem, Rob. Well, Stephen, thanks very much for your time. No, well, cheers.